Yo, what's good, family? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Thesis. This episode, we are going over Ubershaw's Elastic 3. If you guys follow the actual channel, you see that I've already went over this. But today, I want to specially dig directly into this because Ubershaw sent us over some uh, of their samples. And of course, they're super crazy. I'm going to go through a little bit. It's going to be sort of like a tutorial showing you guys how to install the stuff. We're going to go through some of the sounds and we're just going to dig into it. All right. Y'all keep it locked. Stay tuned. You go to ubershaw.com. Of course, this is a company that uh, specializes in a lot of the loops, construction kits, sound packs, things of that nature. And the way that you go through playing this is through an actual uh, instrument called Elastic 3. Again, if you guys haven't checked out that video, please check out this video right here where you can download it for free. But first, before we do that, I wanna go over some of the sounds that's actually on the website. We're just gonna play the first products that they feature. Next one is uh, African House. One thing I can say about these samples so far, they're pretty clean. All right, let's check out the next one. Next is called Beach House. All right, so y'all pretty much get the idea of what they can offer you guys. So if you go through the website, you'll see it's a lot of stuff. Um, on the top of the website right here, you can see where it says bundles, construction kits, instruments. Uh, they have what they call Inspire Series, loop packs, sound effects, all that good stuff. So the way that you get Elastic is you go to the website, you click on Elastic, and then as soon as you open up Elastic, it'll bring up this page right here. And basically it gives give you all the information. You can get it for Mac. You can also get this for Windows. They do it in 32 and they also 64. Again, you can use this as a standalone or you can use this in your DAW as a VST. So it's really, really great. They also have it as an AAX for you guys that use that in their format. Um, again, you just go, you click right here and just download. And you can also download the demo bank that comes with it. Um, so it's a lot of uh, good loops that's in there. It's over like 570 loops. So now since we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and go through how you install some of the actual sounds into Elastic 3. So first of all, you see right here, uh, you see the full format of Elastic 3. Um, so you go to sound banks and activation. And of course you see, I have a couple here. Uh, the way that you do it, you can go and you can add and once you add it in, you just bring over, let's say for instance, the download, this one is the down tempo. So once you get to the point where you double click into it, you come to this screen right here and you hit okay. And once you hit okay, it says that you read all the terms. Of course you hit yes. And then it starts to import it. Now it's gonna come up and say that it's not active. And what you do is you go to sound bank activation. Of course you go to online. And once you go to online, it'll go through your actual uh, installation of your program. So once you get to your product registration, you go ahead, put in your serial number that comes with it right here. And you guys are fully activated, all right? All right, so now that we got the activation thing going, let's go ahead and check out some of the sounds. Again, these are, like I said, they give you the two free banks to set up and uh this is the demo bank and this is the elastic three demos two different ones i'll call these uh modules right here right so at the bottom these are basically played through your keyboard and let's say for instance i have this drum loop that's loaded up and as you see right here on c1 and let's just hit this right here so you can see it so on c1 this will be that sound all right and then the next key of that would be the bass drum claps so as you see you know each key basically plays that sound the great thing is is that it's not limited to how you can play the sound it's not limited to how you can manipulate the sound and you'll understand what that means in a minute once i go through showing you guys but uh, you have different mapping modes so you can go from a standard chromatic 
you can slice it and you can do a retro sampler um you can also change how you manipulate let's say for instance you want to go and uh you want to change the pitch around it is all of the actual effects and things that you can do to how you can manipulate the actual sound so let's say for instance i want to reverse it that's the drum all right so i'm gonna take the drum and let's reverse it So that's pretty dope, right? Like it's a lot of things that you can do to make it your sound, even though it's based in the state of this player, you can still manipulate it and do it the way that you want to do. Uh, you can retune it. You can change the time, the algorithm, the tempo, how it's looped, whether it's sliced or very speed. You can change the factors with them and you can actually go and manipulate the snap, which is a uh, snap mode right here. You can change it from one one all the way up to 164. The format basically is the pitch and the sound, how it goes together. Uh, you can change and add more volume. Uh, the panoramic view, which is right there already. Usually when you do this, this right here change how you start off the actual sample. So in this case, starts right there in the cutoff mode you can go and cut off how much of uh sound the, the actual decibel how much you want to cut off of it you can change and manipulate the envelope how you want to release it when it's played uh you can do it as a loop or you can do it just as a single hit um you also reset the parameters you could change the actual sequence of it. Um, it's just a lot that you can do within just this one part of this sample of it per sound that really, really gives you like total control to how you wanna, you know, do the sample. So this button right here is called Inspire. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it, it shuffles, and then it changes the sound. Now, what it'll do is inside of this, is, let's get this back up. So what it'll do is within this one sound, It'll keep it in, let's say, it'll keep it in the same type of genre, but at the same time, it shuffles a creative idea. That'll work, especially for all the different type of samples and sound banks that you have in here. If you don't have a whole lot of them, um, it'll give you a pretty decent idea of how it works, but it works so much better if you have a lot of libraries, let me say that. Uh, in this case, you see that it switched from the drum loop to this. All right, so let's say, all right, I wanna switch that again. I just hit Inspire and it comes up with this. So it gives you a different idea of how you wanna just be creative. It'll give you some of those things that you guys wanna play with, experiment with, like that's a great tool. Um, at the bottom right here, well, to the right, you see where it has the control master output volume. That's how you increase it or decrease it. And over this side, you can browse the actual sound banks, you can filter it right here, how you want it to be done through either instrument, key, BPM, genre, so forth and so on. You can actually search a sound and let's say that I put in drums and it'll give me all the drums that I have within my libraries. My advice as well is also when you do standalone mode, let's say for instance, you're uploading your sound banks, upload your sound banks in standalone mode before you actually use it as a VST, just to alleviate any issues upload it through the actual standalone mode. You see right here where you retune it, you can go, of course, with all the different keys, you can change the major to minor. They even got Japanese four, fifth, one note. Like it's, this thing, man, is really, really interesting on how it takes the approach on being creative with the sounds that they provide with you. The major downfall for me, of course, this is just for me, it's just my personal, personal opinion. If they had the opportunity where you can upload your own sound into this and then it reads as if it would the other sounds, I know that uh, they have a format as you see. If you uh, had a place where you could, you know, upload your wave files and then it manipulates that type of way where it would generate with the sounds that's provided, like that would be like a huge super plus to it. So Ubershaw's Elastic 3 is a great way of just digging in and, you know, having fun with samples and loops. So um, again, if you guys like this video, please make sure that you go subscribe, like the channel. Uh, this is just a basic overall view of Elastic 3 the things that uh, potentially it can do for you guys in your music and your production. And uh, it is a great tool to have. It really is. So again, make sure that you hit that like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right. You guys already know who it is. It's your boy thesis. Peace.